Hello, how to solve 4 power of sine x square plus 4 power of cos x square is equal to 4. To find the value of x such that x is from 0 to 360 degree. So from this equation, 4 power of sine square x plus 4 power of cos square x, we make common sine square x. So we'll apply the rule sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then we make cos square x the subject, as in here the power of cos square x, so this we take to the right side. Then it will be cos square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x. Then we substitute the value of cos square x, which is equal to 1 minus sine square x into this power. So our equation will be 4 power of 1 minus sine square x is equal to 4. Then in next step, our equation will be 4 power of sine square x plus 4 power of 1. Then because here there is power of negative, it will be in the denominator. So it will be 4 power of sine square x is equal to 4. Then, the next step, because 4 power of sine square x is common, so we will let y is equal to 4 power of sine square x. Then, our equation will be here, we substitute y, then plus 4 power of 1 is same as 4 over, this is y is equal to 4. Then, the next step, to remove this fraction, we will multiply by y in both sides. So, this y will cancel each other. Then this time this is y square plus 4 is equal to this time this is 4y. Then, in next step, we take this 4y to the left side. So, it will be y square minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. Then, from this quadratic equation, we we'll solve by factorization. So, y square, negative 4y is same as negative 2y, negative 2y. So, minus 2y, minus 2y is minus 4y. Then, plus 4 is equal to 0. Then, in next step, here y is common. So, we take y out of bracket. This divided by this is y. This divided by this is negative 2 bracket. In here, negative 2 is common. So this divided by this is y. This divided by this is negative 2 bracket is equal to 0. Then in next step, y minus 2 is common. So we take y minus 2 out of bracket. This divided by this is y. This divided by this is minus 2 bracket is equal to 0. Then in next step, in here we have two solutions y minus 2 is equal to 0 and another solution y minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore this will take to the right side so y is equal to 2 and this will take to the right side so y is equal to 2 therefore in both solutions y is equal to 2 but before we let y is equal to in here y is equal to 4 power of sine x square And all the solutions for y is equal to 2. Then we'll compare these two equations. Therefore, 4 power of sine square x is equal to 2. Then in next step, 4 is same as 2 square. Then bracket power of sine square x is equal to 2. Then our equation will be 2 power of this and this is 2 sine square x is equal to 2 power of 1. Then, because we have same base of 2, we'll compare the powers. So it will be 2 sine square x is equal to 1. Then, in next step, we divide by 2 in both sides. 
So these two will cancel each other. Then it will be sine square x is equal to a half. Then we will apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel with this square. Then it will be sine x is equal to, because we apply square root to be plus or minus square root of a half. Then it will be sine x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over square root of 2. Then this is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 over square root of 2. Then in next step we will rationalize the denominator. So we will multiply by square root of 2 in the denominator and in the numerator. So it will be sine x is equal to plus or minus this time this is square root of 2 over this time this is 2. So in here we have two solutions which is sine x is equal to square root of 2 over 2 and another solution is sine x is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Then to find the value of x sine is opposite of hypotenuse. So this is our opposite of hypotenuse is 1. Same as here hypotenuse is 1. Then in next step we will draw a graph of x y plane with a cycle passing at the same points. So in here is x plane here is y plane at point 1, 1, negative 1, and here is negative 1. So, from sine x is equal to square root of 2 over 2 as our opposite. So this is a line of opposite which is square root of 2 over 2, and hypotenuse is 1. So, the angle here is 45 degree. And note that above x plane is positive values of sine x. So the first value of x is 45 degree. And the other value of x when opposite is square root of 2 over 2. Starting from 0. In here is 90 degree. So the angle from 0 to here is 135 degree. Because 90 degree plus 45 degree is 513. So here yeah, the angle is 135 degree. And another angle, when the values of sine x is negative, square root of negative 2 over 2, it will be below the x plane. So here the opposite is negative square root of 2 over 2. And the hypotenuse is 1. So starting from 0 to be 180 plus 45 degree. So the sum is 5, 2, 2. So the angle from 0 to this line is 2, 2, 5. 225 degree. And another angle when opposite is square root of negative 2 over 2. Starting from 0 to 3 quarters. So it will be 270 degree plus from here to here is 45 degree. So the sum is 5. 7 plus 4 is 1. 3. So the other angle here is 315 degree. Therefore, these are all angles for the values of x between 0 and 360 degree. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.